Eminem, of course, one of the greatest artists of all time, one of my favorite artists of all time. I'm a Detroit native, so I was introduced to Eminem at a fairly young age, and I've supported him ever since. The very first video that did well that wasn't a rant and something negative was on Walk on Water and how epic of a collaboration that was between Beyonce and Eminem. I've done numerous a video on this man. I have nearly all his albums on CD save for music to be murdered by, including revival. <laughs> <laughs> I've proclaimed him the greatest rhymer of words in hip hop history and to not have him in the top three is blasphemous. I don't care who you are or what your reasoning is. I will end you. I'm gonna kill you. <sighs> that being said, I have a problem with this, this, uh, this, what, what is it? With, it'll come to me. It'll come to me. Give me a second. Um, they said I rap like a robot, so call me rap. That's my point. You see that? He's more machine now than man. Eminem in recent years and months has gone full Skynet. An android, an automaton. This Super Bowl commercial illustrates it best. He approaches songs the way an AI would. He looks to see just how many words, combinations, phrases, metaphors, entendres, syllables, and cadences he can utilize while foregoing the soul and emotion of a song. And I think a small but somewhat vocal portion of his detractors, who they themselves used to be fans back in the day of his, this is what they mean when they're talking about I like the old Eminem or I miss the old Eminem better. You got of course the wackos that want him to be addicted to things like that makes sense. Put him in harm's way for music, never in your life. But when the ones who are complaining, trying to give constructive criticism or they can't seem to properly convey what it is they're talking about, I think this is what they mean. His music of late sounds pretty soulless and vapid, technically brilliant but lacking substance. And I'm not saying he's never had any songs or albums in the past five or eight years where he hasn't had any emotion. Of course not. There have been songs littered throughout them. But more often than not, nowadays, you get dictionary Eminem more so than the Eminem that could make you feel. And some of the artists he's collaborated with can attest to this, whether they mean to or not. Paul comes to the studio and he plays the M verse. I got the song in a regular format structure for a radio station, mm -hmm. three minutes, eight seconds. But yes, M sir. gets on the third verse and does 42 bars. I got a problem with this. <laughs> Talk about it. Yeah. 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 And I'm such an M fan, I'm not going to disappoint him and let him think that what's happening here is going to be this easy. Right, right, right. It's mm. going to be some challenge now. Mm. <laughs> so I go back and I turn my two 16s. I scrapped that and, and turned the, my, my verse into a 50 bar verse. Go ahead now. I did my first verse for Killer Remix, right? I sent it over to him and M and I did it and it was more on some like three stacks E40 type of flow. And then M called, he was like, yo, I wanted you to be like a little more like lyrical, like on some rap rap shit on it. And I'm like, all right, cool. Like whatever. So I re he had me like redo my verse on some more rap because at first I just wanted to because you know that song is it's more not like a yeah no, no a rap rap right, record. Right, right, right. It's more of like a vibe right. sort of thing, and so that's why I gave that. He's like, I want you to you know like attack it, you know. So I'm like, all right, cool. Let's try that. If Eminem asks you to redo your verse, you redo your verse. No, I don't think I will. <laughs> And it feel like I'm mentally ill, I'm a telekiller, be killed, I'm a killer, be the vanilla gorilla, you bringing the killer within me, out of me, you don't want to be the enemy of the demon who enemy, I'll be on the receiving enemy, what stupidity it'd be every day. Enough! Silence! Frozen. My life is slow motion, I couldn't tell if I was alive or a ghost, and then I just the rescue the a Sorry, babe, I was just having a crazy dream. Oh. I got into a little bit of an argument with her, so I took a little lick of a galana pin at dinner, then I hit it with the motherfucking ottoman and bitter. Slim gonna get the pop, and when I'm at the top, I get him on top, I'm giving it to anyone who wanna come get it, and I'm not- Relax! You know, it's hard to think about, but there was a time pre Marshall Mathers LP2, where Eminem wasn't the guy that raps fast all the time. He had never really done that. There were like one or two instances, but never to what he had showcased on Rap God. Now, it seems that's all he kind of does, and it's always amazing to hear, and it's awe-inspiring. But as Jay-Z himself so eloquently stated, let that bitch breathe. 
Does he know how to keep his foot off the pedal? He practically suffocates each beat he's on now. One can still be hard paused and go in on a song without having to rap 10 million miles a second. He used to do these things. He had casual, casual bangers where he could lay back and smooth out on a beat, have himself a latte, but he just has to go hard 24 seven. He's a sweaty tryhard in a Call of Duty lobby with Doritos and Gatorade in a gaming chair. He goes from zero to 60 and 3.5 so many times now with this OCD flow. Despite this weird, erratic, angry, staccato flow that he seems to be locked into lately. He used to be stuck into yelling on every single song so long ago where it was like recovery or pre Marshall Mathers LP two days or basically that album as well was just nonstop yelling. And when I was in theater class, some of the people had taught me, it was like, well, you did an amazing performance, but you don't have to yell all the time. You don't have to be at the pinnacle or the apex of your most boisterous self. You can kill them softly. You can show some nuance. You could show different facets of your skill, different layers, not always coming out 100% Hulk. If Eminem was a Dragon Ball Z character, he'd be going Super Saiyan 3 on every single fight. He shows his most powerful form every song now. We don't get a break. We don't get to see other uses of his versatility. It's just this one thing he's been stuck in for years now. He lets up occasionally, but more so than not, it's just you're that guy that and then that same flow that he has that what? Get that nigga off my shit right now. Oh, get that nigga the fuck off my shit right now. Fuck who that is, nigga. Eminem still Starbucks. Get that nigga the fuck off my shit. I'm not playing. There are only a handful of human beings who are as good as Eminem is at his respective field comparative to what they do in their respective fields. But once you reach a certain level of greatness, people just remove you from criticism or they just say to criticize them is blasphemy, even if it's constructive. I don't agree with that. I don't believe anything or any person is removed from criticism on this planet. And when it gets into who Eminem is and what he represents, if me, myself, and I were rapper and I were making a song and then Eminem graces me with a verse, but yet he says I need to change my verse, depending upon what the song is in question, I'm just may end up saying no because like you've seen previously with the two of them being Buster Rhymes and you've got Corday, they were like, ooh, I mean, this song was supposed to be something else, but now because you went and destroyed it, you nuked it so viciously, I have to also nuke it because you changed the dynamic of the song. The main objective of the song has been completely thrown out and I have to now come accordingly to match your energy. Is Eminem incapable of acquiescing himself or making a song for song purposes, not just something that is turned into pitchforks and torches on the entire beat? Does it have to be that all the time? This is the only main criticism that I'd say of Eminem that's valid throughout his career. He doesn't really have any club hits. He doesn't have casual sounding music like that, save for a few songs, something like Stan or maybe Superman. But these things are so few and far between other people when they talk about goats, especially in hip hop. There were so many on the list who could do a multitude of many things. Tupac had songs where he was lyrical. Tupac had songs where he was in a club. Tupac had gangster type songs. Biggie had the same things. You can't really play Eminem in the club, especially now that you turn it on. People are just going to either stop dancing or they go look at you where they may even kick you out. It just where is it at? I say that's just one thing he hasn't had. Does he need to have these things? I don't believe every artist needs to. But it is somewhat of a glaring issue when you want to mince words or you well, you have to because we're talking about the greatest people of all time in this genre. You have to nitpick. And that's something that I think he's sorely in need of or he's missing. But I just don't see him doing it now. I don't see him being on any song with Drake nowadays, especially not forever happened when it did. But the culture and the industry was far different sounding than what it is now. Nowadays, I don't see that. I just don't. As great as Eminem, I really do not see that. Well, you'll have to tell me below if you think that, of course. All in all, still one of my favorite artists of all time. Amazing that he is in 
the Hall of Fame is long overdue. He should have gotten in there already. I just don't really know where he goes from here. It seems like he's rapping to rap more so than having something to say. When was the last time Eminem had something to say, really? To me, the last actual album he had where he was saying something when in substantive was LP2. He reconciled with his mom on that record. He had a coming of age on that record. Just him talking about how I've finally gotten to this age where now I can't just do all of the silly willy things and like the harebrained ridiculousness he used to do. Like he couldn't utter any of the stuff that he used to say before because of how sensitive and lame things are. But he's looking like, hey, I'm kind of old a little bit for rap standards, hip hop standards, yeah. So this was a new facet of Eminem we didn't get to see. That's what made that album refreshing. But ever since then, what else has come out that is equated to that? Are you going to say revival? Revival, I don't think it was, it was just bad execution on what he was trying to do. I don't think he really had too much to say there. And then what was it? Uh, Kamikaze was just mad at people for flaming revival. So if you don't get revival being trash, you don't get kamikaze and then he continues to flame on music to be murdered by he's still talking about how the mumble rappers and this and that thing it's just at the end of the day if i had to choose one i think i'd much rather be a mumble rapper or somebody who makes a sonic project something that's more about melody than somebody who's lyrical spiritual miracle individual all day I, I don't think any one of either of those are a good thing to have all the time. Music, of course, has its time and place. But if I had to choose, I'd much rather have something that people can really jam out to. They can sing. They can dance to it. They can different areas. They can listen to it. And more is just one to two different things. I think lyrical mirage is a little it's just more limiting to me. That's the only thing I say, and I despise a lot of the bull crap that they got out now. You can see some of the other stuff that I've ranted about, but that's just how I feel. So tell me what you think about what I've said. Do you agree with, with anything? You think Eminem can still keep rapping into his 60s? I can't believe he's 50. I, it's just saying that Eminem 50? To me, he's just been 30-something forever. I don't know. So let me know what you think about this video. Like, comment, do all that jazz, and I shall see you on the next one. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Hopefully. I'm yanking the chain of it, or maybe the way in which I'm saying shit is playing with you, but ain't shit changing. Slow down.